This company trying to free the devil? I know this sounds crazy, but CERN is a company that is heavily funded and claims that their work helps uncover what the universe is made out of and how it works. Basically giving us a better understanding on how the Big Bang happened and how our universe was created. But there's some things that truly scare me. For one, did the company go out of their way to build a facility on where the devil himself lives and sits on his throne? You see in the Bible, in Revelation chapter 2, verse 13, Jesus says Satan's throne is in the same city in which Saint Antipas was unalived. Biblical researchers found that Saint Antipas' life was taken under Emperor Nero in a city called Lyon, which is known today as Geneva, Switzerland. That's exactly where CERN so happens to have built their company's facilities and campus. If you pay attention to CERN's logo, it strangely has three sixes. And you know exactly what that means. Elon Musk himself calls CERN's technology demonic. Oh, and if that's not weird enough for you, they have a statue on their campus of the god Sheba, which is known as the Destroyer. One night, someone actually filmed a group of people who worked at CERN performing a human sacrifice in front of the campus's Sheba statue. What the f***? When asked about it in an interview, a spokesperson for CERN said that it was only a prank and that no one was actually harmed. Yeah, sure. A prank. Ha ha. Ha. How do you get caught doing something weird and then go, guys, relax, it's a, it's a prank, bro. Anyways, they have a machine called the Hydron Collider, the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever built. It has only had two runs in its lifetime. Some people believe that this machine is actually a portal to another dimension and that their plan is to work and find a way to release the devil himself out of hell, which would not only release him, but a bunch of demons down there as well. Now there is some science to this because it creates incredibly high energy collisions with particles, which can theoretically open up a portal or tear the fabric of space time. Now there's no exact scientific proof of this, but who knows? Now let's say none of this is true. There are other concerns concerning CERN. Try saying that 10 times fast. A genius and protege coined the name one of the world's smartest kids who also created a free energy machine at the age of only 13 has warned us and said that he believes that CERN's experiments are threatening to break the fabric of our existence and they have already moved us to a parallel reality that is similar to our own. If there are other universes there next to ours and this actually relates to uh, my theory of the Mandela effect and how the particle accelerator altered the weight of one electron and therefore sh destroyed our universe and shifted us into the universe that's directly next to it and therefore things are different in this universe. Have you ever woke up and felt things were a little off? Something's a little different? You're not where you belong? Or maybe you remember Pikachu having black at the tip of his tail. The Monopoly man having a monocle. Or that there was a Boots popsicle. Even though they claim one never existed. Well, maybe we're not tripping. Maybe we're not in our original reality. I mean, a man has supposedly caught a video of the Berenstein Bears book slowly transitioning into a parallel universe and becoming Berenstain Bears. This just creeps me out, man. I don't even like to be in this room anymore. When I sleep in here, I mean, look at that. That sh is changing. Right there. It's changing. Right there. I mean, who knows? The Mandela effect could possibly be the aftermath of CERN doing these so called experiments. Why can't they move me to a reality where there's no bills, no rent? This earth is ghetto. I mean, we got good chicken, though. We got some good chicken. By the way, comment one Mandela effect that you found out or remember. Now you may think this is all a bunch of malarkey, but there's been experts in the science community who have actually came out and warned us of the same thing the kid did. They're saying CERN running these experiments could create a black hole that would devour our world.
Francis Caligero, a nuclear physicist who was co-winner of a Nobel Peace Prize, published an article titled, Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Planet Earth? The essay sparked a series of debates that were never ending and lasted years. People all over the world was concerned that CERN might destroy us all. Okay, portals to hell, switching realities, creating black holes. There can't possibly be any more concerns, right? Sadly, there are. I'm just as shocked as you. Now, you know I said that people believe that CERN is opening portals to different realities or a different dimension, maybe even different worlds. People believe that this is where these beings called reptilians or what we see as aliens are coming from. They're not traveling billions and billions of light years of space to get here. CERN is just inviting them through their front door. I mean, there's hundreds of species that have said to be walking amongst us today. Pladianos, the greys, the Arcturianos. That many species can't be traveling through space to hit Earth. Someone has even claimed to have footage of one of these species. Like an eight foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So we terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. Calm down, y'all. That's just my ex. She loves nature. All honesty, I can't tell if that video is real or CGI. It's just too realistic with the muscles in the back and everything. But what do you guys think? Should we be worried about CERN? Or is this just one big conspiracy? I don't know what to believe anymore. Make sure to hit that follow, because part two, it's going to get crazy. And you don't want to miss it.